Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Olivia. I'm here with Celia after um, a couple of days of shooting yeah. the autumn winter campaign with Oxendales. Today we're going to create a nice autumn look on Celia. We're going to create a lovely base and foundation on her skin. We're going to get it nice and hydrated using a serum and a moisturiser. To prep Celia's skin today, what I've started by using is Environ's serum, which is basically a water for the skin. So it's like a drink to rehydrate the skin. I would always put the serum on first and then go in with the eye cream. What I would say if you are going to a function, if you're going to a wedding, don't use an SPF. It will flash back in the camera, but for your everyday routine, always apply your little bit of SPF and that can be your final step before you put on your makeup. The foundation I've picked today is the MAC Face and Body. It's working on the center of the face and working it outwards. Something that's going to help brighten the eyes. I'm going to use a little Makeup Forever highlighting product on the inside of the eye area. And I'm just softly brushing it in, in towards the nose. You never want to go too heavy in under the eye area with any product. The reason we're going to apply powder on Celia is to set the foundation, just to help it settle better into the skin and without it building up and caking into the skin. So today I'm going to use the bronzer in nearly a figure of three on Celia's face and it'll give a little bit of a contour as well to help shape her face. Forehead coming down under her cheek and then down just under the jawline as well. And in turn, if you can see how the figure of three will connect me down into the skin on her neck so it allows me to warm her complexion without making her very dark at the same time. The first thing I want to do is use a little bit of blusher. Today I'm using an Armani one, it's number 306. We're going to apply it onto the apple of the cheeks and blend. Brows always frame the face and there's such a graze with them at the moment. Brush any eyebrow hair straight up and then outwards. The best thing to use is an actual brush with a powder underneath the eyebrow, making a nice little line. And we're just going to define it out. And then in upward strokes, I'm lifting Celia's arch out here, past the center point of her eye. Next on our makeover is Celia's lips. I want to start by using a lip liner just to define out the lip. Today I'm using a lip liner by MAC. It's called Soar is the Colour. We want to emphasise the cupid's bow, so just bring the liner up, around and down. I use just a simple lip brush. Pick up as much lipstick as you can. Today we're going to use some Velvet Teddy by MAC and just apply it all over the lip on top of the liner. And we want to just finish the lips with a little bit of gloss just in the center of the lips just to highlight them as well. So just nice soft peach tone again. We're going to start on Celia's eyes now and today we're using a nice little palette by MAC and I'm going to use it as a base all over Celia's eyelid. Close the eyes and apply your base all over. Pick up the same color again and nice circular motions and it just gives a lovely softness to the colors. I'm going to pick up now just a little bit of the darker colour, which was Foley. You're going to make a slight bit of a triangular shape on the outer corner of your eye. So bring it along the lash line itself and just up into the socket as well. And just a nice soft little application and in under. Mascara I'm going to use today is Estee Lauder Zero Smudge Double Wear Mascara. Move your brush into the very root of the eyelash. And as I'm wiggling the brush, I'm wiggling it that little bit more on the tips of the lashes as well. And that's a wrap on our autumn look with Oxendales today. Thank you very much for having us.